Hello everyone, my name is LaFox. This is going to be a very brief comparison between the GPD Pocket 1 and the GPD Pocket 2. This is a prototype of the Pocket 2 provided to me by GPD. Thank you once again, GPD, for trusting me with your prototypes. As I know of, there are four prototypes out there. We are all under embargo until later today. So this was we will be uh, 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Basically, when the Indiegogo campaign launches, they uh, GPD is trying to you know arrange uh, a lot of news to happen, coinciding with the launch of the Indiegogo campaign. Having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at one thing that GPD did want me to inform everyone that was looking at this video. These four keys right here: one, two, three, four. The tilde, accent key, tab, insert, print screen. These keys are going to be changing with the mass production units. Everything else is going to be changed, staying the same as far as right now. But let's just go over what's going to be changing right now. So tab and insert are going to be moving over here. So this this will be tab primary function key insert. This key right here, tab, will become a full width, half width character uh, kanji character key for markets where that is very relevant. Print screen is going to be moving over here as well as having a function key for caps lock. And then the tilde accent key is going to be moving where the print screen key is. So those are the only changes that are going to be happening. Everything else is going to be staying the same. Uh, additionally, because there are, I've, I've only had this unit for two days now. I have put 12 hours of use into it. I'm going to be doing a keyboard review as well as an optical mouse sensor review. I have managed to eke out a few, um, performance reviews. So I have a heaven benchmark as well as a geek bench, uh, benchmark. So we can more easily compare. That'll be in this video right now. I will have two other videos available and ready for you guys to see the same time, right? Uh, basically when you're viewing this right now on my channel will also be a keyboard review as well as an optical mouse sensor review in case you wanted to watch those as well, but this is going to be a general comparison. So let's just take a look at the GPD pocket one. Basically, this is everything that you have on the pocket one. This is the business end of it. Right here, we can see the inlet for the heat sink and then the exhaust right here. Uh, so there is a heat pipe that is coming right here and then it's exhausting out. You have your USB-C 3, which also has display port out. You have micro HDMI out, three and a half millimeter and a USB 3 port. And that's it. Nothing else. No other outputs or inputs. That is the pocket one. On the pocket two, they kind of add some stuff well, you know, there's I'll, I'll touch base on that in a second. Let's just take a look at these ports real quick. So this is the USB 3, uh, this USB-C jack. One nice feature that you can see is this little indicator right here that what it's charging. Um, this device will not charge when it's uh, over 95% charge. It'll just say plugged in, not charging. Once it goes lower to 90%, then it will actually start charging the battery again. But it, it there is some circuitry in here that will prevent overcharging. Here's a USB 3 jack. And then right here, you can see there's a micro SD card so that you can have easier additional storage as opposed to just having one nub. And then it, that would be occupying your entire USB jack portfolio. Uh, you have two USB 3 jacks here, uh, still three and a half millimeter R jack, as well as uh, the addition of a micro SD card. Now, there are some things to take away here. The chipset in here is the uh, Z8750, so this is an Atom Ch Cherry Trail chip, and this is the 7Y30, the Core M3 7Y30. So this is, uh, in my opinion, one of the better chips that you can have at that power level. Uh, benchmarks show it. So one of the things that that is worthwhile to note is that this is a 7,000 milliamp hour battery, and this is a 6,800 milliamp hour battery. This is 3.7 volt, and this is two 3.7 volts to make one 7.6 volt battery. How it still works is that it's still a 6,800 milliamp hour battery, and this is 7,000 milliamp hour battery. So there's a tiny bit less battery here, but because of how the chipsets work, especially when gaming, you're going to be getting better battery life here as opposed to this. And we can, I'll go into that a little bit later in this video when we take a look at the benchmarks. But one thing that I did want to comment on that I was quite surprised at was that I was really anticipating this device to be way thinner than it actually was. Um, so there's a thing you can see right here is this contouring. When you look at it from a certain angle, which is a lot of the pictures, this looks like it's super thin right here. And it looks like, oh man, that's 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 way thinner than than this. But it's just it's just an optical illusion. Um, for all intents and purposes, when you stack them up, they are nearly identical. Um, they are quite literally the same size. So if you have a pocket one, you should expect them to be quite similar in size. They're not, it's not going to feel different. Although feeling this is a lot nicer because of the contours. Uh, one thing that I really think that is worth noting is that 
these contours are an optical illusion, especially if you are anticipating this being considerably thinner than a pocket one, it isn't. For all intents and purposes, this is quite sim similar in size, um, no matter which way you look at it. So if we just kind of did these side by side, yeah, put these down. Just the contouring makes it look like it's thinner. But when you get down to the business end of it, how thick it is down here, it really is quite similar. Now, the only thing that I will say about the contouring is that it does feel nicer in a handheld fashion. And that does translate into a better experience, especially with using the optical nub. Again, I'll go over this in a review later. But having said that, um, it feels quite similar in build quality to um, the Pocket One. Oh, the other thing that's worth mentioning is the bottom part of this. So this is the fan inlet. You can see it's a much larger than it was on the Pocket One. The only thing that I have concerns about is that the exhaust is right in there. No matter which way you kind of look at it, it really is blocked no matter how you open it up. Um, the other thing is, is that this does open up to nearly a full 180 degrees while the Pocket One gets sort of close to that where it's more like, I don't know, 160 degrees, 170 degrees. Honestly, it's not a huge deal, but I guess for people that really, really need it to be a full 180 degrees, it does match that now. Um, there are a few other, there is another tablet out there that has this body that does um, 360 hinge, but that's that's another story, that's another thing. Uh, right now, we're just going to be talking about these. So let me, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and power these on. We'll take a look at the BIOS, and then we'll take a look at how they operate with benchmarks. Just a second, guys. All right, so here we are in the BIOS, and as you can see in the GPE Pocket 1, this is quite similar to how most GPD products are in that it is using... Oh, sorry, apologize for that light source in the back. I'm just trying to get as much light as I can in this area. Uh, so let us go, and we'll take... And you see that there aren't a tremendous amount of... Thunder. There aren't a tremendous amount of options as there are on the original Win 1, where the Win 1 afterwards had BIOS similar to this. Uh, but the Win 2 has way more options available to it. So let's go ahead and just not save and exit. We'll just go ahead and discard and just kind of, you know, let's go ahead and power down real quick. And we'll take a look at this. And you can see that it is landscape, which is an interesting change. I... I still have to get clarification on if this is a landscape derived display or if it's still portrait. Um, it's a bit interesting when I when I change when I've updated the graphics driver, I did notice that it went into portrait and then back to landscape. So I'm still trying to find out if this is an, a true um, landscape display as opposed to a portrait display. Um, so I'm still finding that out and I will give you updated information, especially just trying to look in the comments field where I'll kind of update things. But once again, you can kind of see that things are mostly similar in that we have very few options to go with. This model that I have is the four gigabyte model. I know that there are people that have prototypes that have received the eight gigabyte model. So a lot of the things that you're going to be seeing here are going to be tailored to that. I don't think that four gigabytes is going to be a huge barrier in terms of performance benchmarks. They should be quite similar. Um, you can see that the difference though is that where we are right here, memory frequency is 133 megahertz. So that is 533 megahertz as opposed to 966, right? This So yeah, 800 would be 1600 megahertz. This is running in dual channel. Um, again, I will find out if the mass production units have a faster frequency memory, but for the time being, this is has slower memory than the Win 2. So that's one thing worth pointing out. So we'll go ahead and just discard, quit without saving. We'll start booting up into that. Uh, give me a second, I will start taking a look at benchmarks. And we're back. So here is a Geekbench 4 result. So this, both of these tests were conducted, both of them laying flat on the table. As we can see here, single core score is only 1150 and multi core is 3200, this being four core, no hyper threading. And here we can see single core speeds almost nearing 3000, this is 2900 and 5800 for multi core score. And this is two core, four with hyper threading. It's two physical cores, four um, logical virtual cores. So that's this is the 
performance benchmark for this. One thing to note for the arrangement for the TDP for this, this is at 4.5 watt at power level one. Power level two is at 10 watt for about 30 seconds. So at any given field, this machine will try to go run at 10 watt TDP, but then down clock to 4.5 watt whenever it tries to use too much power. For all intents and purposes, it's going to be at 4.5 watt, especially when gaming. That is the total total uh, power allotment for this device. In this device, power for CPU and GPU will go up to 7.2 watts. So that's one of the things that you'll see that this Pocket One will offer substantially less battery life, especially when gaming, as opposed to the Pocket Two. Uh, very briefly, let me just bring up the performance benchmarks for Heaven. Alrighty, and here are the Heaven benchmarks for gaming benchmarks. You can see we're only getting 16.5 FPS, FPS on average, as well as 29.3. So almost, almost double the gaming performance on the Pocket 2, while also offering considerably better battery life. So this at this benchmark, we're running at 4.5 watt, and at this bench, benchmark, we're running at about 7.2 watts that I've measured internally. Um, so we are using almost 50% less power, um, was 40% less power, and achieving almost double the performance. So in terms of just performance throughput, additional battery, uh, additional storage capacity, the Pocket 2 is already shaping up to be a real winner as a, as a successor to the Pocket 1. Now, how the keyboard works out and how the optical sensor works out, that'll be an additional view that I will share with you guys in another video. But this is going to be the end of the comparison between the Pocket 1 and the Pocket 2. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them in the comments and I will address them as fast as I can. I will be getting off holiday August 2nd, so I'll be able to go back home and kind of film and do things a lot better and as opposed to where I am right now. Uh, that's it for the general thing right now.